Hey everybody, welcome back to Misfit Corner Comics Presents. This is the artist Andrew speaking, and I have an interesting tale to tell you all about. Uh, today is Sunday, the 22nd of December, and uh, while I was in the store, something kind of amazing happened this weekend. And uh, before I tell you the good news, I want to uh, just take you through a quick little walk of the history of Misfit Corner Comics. When I started at the Beach Boulevard Flea Market, I started up here in the front, uh, row S. This is the main thoroughfare, and my two favorite spots were 43, which is right here, and 47, which is on the corner. The reason I liked 47 is because there, at the time there were two tables here, so it kind of L-shaped, and I could actually bring out more stuff. Now granted it was only 10 to 15 more boxes of comics, but obviously I needed more space. Next up, in order to get more space, I went ahead and rented a single unit down, a little bit down row C, up, into, up to the, this very first fire door, and uh, C15 became the official home of Misfit Corner Comics. Uh, so I started here, I think, in May, and uh, I think I went through August or September. I have to double check the dates, but I was in this location for those first three months. The next stop for Misfit Corner Comics was uh, units C23 and 25. Now, C15 will always be our first home, but for a growing business that was adding new product every weekend, we needed more space. And this is where we ended up. Now this uh, is only actually just right around the corner from uh, where we were, but with double the space, it gave us more room to bring in my drawing table and more product, more wall space, and uh, we continued to expand. But opportunity sometimes comes along, and you got to take advantage of it. So uh, here's the interesting thing that happened this weekend. A little bit uh, further down the road, one of my uh, retail partners, we'll go for a little quick walk and I'll show you. Um, I was walking by their store and I noticed that they were uh, packing up to leave and moving and closing down their store. And uh, I went by the office and inquired and found out that their lease was up and uh, the shop was going to become available. So check out the home of the new Misfit Corner Comics. This is uh, Unit C36 at the Beach Boulevard Flea Market. It, uh, it's a three uh, store length, so it's a little bit larger than my, my normal store. My store is 20 by 20 and this is 20 by 30. It has windows, it has its own private door. It actually looks like a frickin' store. But this is going to be the new Misfit Corner Comics store. Let's go inside and take a look. And this is the inside. Now it's a little bit bigger. It's actually 20 by 30, so it's my, my current store is 20 by 20. So this is an extra store in it, but you got the windows, you got the door, you got the overhead lights. Uh, you got a place for an AC unit, which I have an AC unit, I just hadn't put it up yet, so that's perfect. It's got its own private back door. There is water, because this used to be a barber shop, but I'm not going to need water. But there's lots and lots of outlets around here, so that gives me some ideas. Uh, the lady across from this, who has the, uh, the, the uh, clothing shop, said that these, these fixtures here are hers, but she'd sell them to me for like 20 bucks a piece. I don't know if I can use these or not, but you never know. I might be able to do that. We'll see. But it's carpeted, which means I'm going to have to get a vacuum cleaner in here. <laughs> but that's all right. And it does have its own private parking spot out in the back. Here, I'll show you real quick. So this is kind of the parking area back here. Nice. Very nice. So our exciting news is we're once again moving. <laughs> We're actually moving to a bigger store with a, as you saw, uh, a larger storefront, uh, a door, um, I mean literally a store to begin with, 
uh, windows and so forth. You saw the inside, it's very big. Uh, there's light fixtures, there's room for an AC unit, which I do have an AC, so that's going to help out come the spring and summer months. But, um, yeah, so next weekend, I've already put the deposit down, that's already taken care of, it is secured for us. Um, I will uh, make the first month's payment next week, uh, which is normally when I would pay for this place. Uh, I don't have to be out till the 5th of the month, but, um, so the 27th, I'll make the first payment. The 28th and 29th will still be in this store, the old store, but we're going to start the build, uh, building up the new store. Then we will take that entire week to do the move, uh, moving all the fixtures and all the product and getting everything set up. And we will have our official grand reopening on uh, the 4th of January. So I'm going to be bringing in the new year in an all-new store. <laughs> I'm very, very, very happy, very excited. And uh, this, this happened very quickly, but, um, you know, I, I joked with my wife when the opportunity came to go into the, the double-sided store where we're at now, is that one of my favorite parts about doing this store is building the new stores, setting it up, designing it, creating it. And I told her, I said, well, if I could do that every three months, that'd be fantastic. Well, turns out we're going to do it again. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for checking out the video. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.